punch it was from Keaton. That was the one that put Robson down in that second round. Suddenly, we have a real fight on our hands here. And Hobson has got to impose himself on this and some way box himself right back into this. And straight away, he puts together a decent looking combination as Keaton comes bulldozing forward once more. Well, you'd have to think the class lies with the champion. He's been here before. He's been on the deck before and he's got up to win. And he's also, you know, been on the deck and lost. So he's got that experience where Keaton really isn't in the, in the mold of winning. He's, he is very much a journeyman, but could this be the Cinderella man come to life? Maybe, maybe. He's been training in the Canary Islands, hence the suntan of the smaller challenger, the 34-year-old from Sheffield. And they were saying between rounds, let's see you throw those big hooks, throw the right hand. He takes an uppercut as he gets inside, trying to throw big shots once more. Hobson just cannot keep him at bay here. Keaton will not be denied at this stage. He can't, surely can't keep this going if the fight goes 12 rounds. This is a gruelling, gruelling, energy-sapping sort of pace which is being set. Good body shots from the champion. Keaton's just got his head right in, in Hobson's chest and he's just not allowed in the room. The long-arm fighter can't quite get his shots off on the inside. That's better from Hobson, turning Keaton well off the ropes. The left hook was a hurtful shot, but Keaton comes bulldozing forward again and gambling with that massive overhand right. Hobson got in with a decent looking left uppercut inside and the right uppercut, but Keaton is taking them so well and that's a tribute to his preparations for this. He may have that journeyman reputation, but here comes Hobson, two or three big shots inside. Got him. He's got him, Johnny. He's got him with a lovely right hand, a short right hand on the inside that stunned uh, Keaton just momentarily there. You just wonder if Keaton's going to punch himself out. Real drama. And here in the third, Keaton has, tagged, has been tagged three or four times by uppercuts from Hobson, but he is still in there, still gambling, right in Hobson's face. And the referee, Dave Paris, has to separate them. Well, Keaton's doing an excellent job of nullifying the champion's work, but you just feel that right now Hobson's having the final say because he's getting through with the, the meteor punches. Hobson has class on his side, but here comes Keaton again. And that right hand over the top was another really big shot. And momentarily again, Hobson wants to hold on. And there's a cut, there's a cut, somebody's cut. I think it's Keaton, I think it's Keaton. Maybe the right eye. Hobson, well, I'm being told mixed messages here. Let's have a look. It's, is it Hobson's left? Yeah, he's dubbing it the left eye. It's Hobson. Hobson's cut in there. Was it a clash of heads? There's real blues bruising under the left eye as well. What a frenetic pace is being produced by both men. Morning. The new Cadbury Dairy Milk with Cream Egg Bar. It's six of one and half a dozen of the other. Just wait when you go back to your own fucking hands up, okay? Alright? Yeah. Keep tripping away. One more time, centre ring. There's Mark Hobson bearing the marks of the conflict. They've done a good job. Dean Powell working away on that eye. Keaton has really gambled here and I would think must be ahead at this stage. And Hobson is cut and was hurt. But has Keaton got the energy to maintain this phenomenal pace? Good shot from Hobson. Terrific uppercut. And Keaton suddenly is on the receiving end. Did you just feel that the class lies with the champion and that's what he's showing now? Well, this has turned into a bit of a free-for-all. These guys are going for it. Hobson comes back, and here's Keaton right in his face. He took some terrific shots there, but came back flinging real gambler's punches, that right hand. And this is as dramatic a fight. It might not be pretty, but it's as dramatic a fight as you would see. It's turning into a bit of a free-for-all, John. Oh, good shot by the champion. That rock of Keaton right back on his heels. And now, is this going to perhaps be the end in Hobson's favour? He senses that Keaton is badly...
really hurt here in this fourth round. But Keaton takes it well, and the referee wants to have a word with the corner, I think. Uh, Keaton's gum shield come out. Oh, a bit of the old Prozac, maybe. <laughs> he's, uh, he's, uh, his gum shield come out of Will Pro's trick. His gum shield come out, he's brought himself valuable seconds. His legs are looking shaky. Body shot, lovely shot there by the champion. And Hobson senses that the end could be nigh. Spears Keaton another couple of times with good shots to the head. Remember that he was down in the second round, Mark Hobson, unexpectedly against the sometime journeyman, twice failed title challenger, John Keaton, who here senses that this really is his last big opportunity to get title glory. You know, Hobson's been here before in this very arena, man, lost here before. He doesn't have good memories for him. If he can pull this back, he can erase the pass. Hobson teeing off with decent looking body shots inside and Keaton just starting to look a little bit tireder as well he might he shipped a lot of punishment here in this fourth yeah the champion has to weather the early storm and you would frankly his, his overall class to start to tell in a lovely body shot in the middle to late rounds here comes Hobson a sustained attack could perhaps really start to phase Keaton here in this fourth round Hobson oh, oh. Very big shot great uppercut from Hobson and that shook Keaton right down to the boots and he is now in desperation state but look at this for a display of bravery how much does this man want it he's so gutsy John he really is he's absolutely near enough out on his feet but he's soaking up everything the champion can fry of him another he's big right go. hand another big right hand and Keaton has to cover up now they're going to stop it big shots here is surely going to take him out of here and Dave Paris is having a close look Keaton holding on in desperation in the closing seconds of the round and I think he might just see it through to the bell no, the fight's all over the fight's been stopped in the closing seconds of that round and referee Dave Paris steps between them and the fight is over and Mark Hobson has retained his title but what guts from Buster Keaton he gave it his all Hobson is still the champion but what a wild four rounds of entertainment we had well not much I tell you what what a scare what a fight there's the face of the loser but no disgrace there what a battle he produced Hobson being congratulated by his family and his corner men. Let's see again some of the shots which finished this one, Duke. And how on earth, how on earth Keaton was staying up to some of these. There was a phenomenal right uppercut went in which opened this attack from Hobson. Well, he stayed up with just sheer pride. He just didn't want to go down, didn't want to really be denied. But obviously, class is permanent and that's what the champion showed. Real class. You know, the onslaught that he threw at the end, you know, I counted maybe 12 unanswered punches they were all fairly accurate and the referee it was a, a, a good intervention by the referee well no lasting damage done Keaton is back on his feet and look at that these are two of the nicest guys who you would want to meet in boxing great display of sportsmanship between the two at the end of it and all around the Metrodome here in Barnsley people are standing up and cheering because that might not have been